okay another very very important question that can be asked is what is the purpose of include statement right so we see uh, this include statement a lot uh, in the JCL so what is the main importance of it so it is used as an alternative to step flip so when we specify the data set name in include it will search in all the data sets uh, specified in the include data set so normally that means uh, what exactly this means so uh, it is also same like uh, I can say uh, how do I say okay so you have a DD statements and uh, those specific uh, DD statements you have stored in a subset member and then you wanted to utilize that so in that situation so we can use this uh, in that would be like if you look at here right so what is what I'm trying to do here is so you have one step step named as step one zero which calls the proc so where is this proc this proc is in this specific uh, PDS so that whatever the properties a proc can contain exit statements and uh, DD statements right and uh, can it contain a job statement can a proc contain a job statement no absolutely no only a JCL can contain job exec and DD statement but a proc can contain only exec and DD statements and what about include include will contain only a DD statements so that's the first difference I can say uh, if you have to explain so you can uh, if you have to answer you can answer in this way so okay so coming back to this point so this particular step it calls this particular uh, prox and whatever it is there it creates that and in step 20 I'm, I have just given IFVR 14 well, normally what IFVR 14 will do it will create a data set right so to create a data set I need to have a data set details where are those so those I don't see here so I'll be pulling that from this particular uh, member okay so for this I need to add the statement called as include so where is this include coming up so this include is coming up from this particular library so where is this this is there here okay so if you look at here so this is there here so here what I'm trying to do it is trying to create the specific data set and it is pulling this member will be there so let me delete this if there is any data just to make sure before we run okay this is not there so that's fine okay now coming back to this JCL okay so here I have this and uh, you have this everything is done so let me run this awesome right so this has ended with a zero let's go to spool and see what exactly this has done so that how it is expanded and all those things we can see right okay so first initially it looked at the proc the proc got expanded that's fine and it entered into the step 20 and the include statement is overrided with the library that was mentioned the member that was mentioned see if you look at here so here we told include create so that whatever the data I mean DD name was there so that it came here and it executed so that's the main thing about the include now we'll also see another one uh, within the include statement is so for example let's talk in a real time scenario here okay so here uh, this include work fine so it created the data set so whatever it was there so now let me write some change so for example this data set can be created for uh, a production or test uh, and QA right so what I can do just I use a symbolic parameter here so that's uh, ENVR I am giving here and the same thing how do you change that if you go to JCL and you can set that ENVR to test broad or anything let's say QA I wanted to create a QA data set so now what is uh, simply if you run this submit it's, uh, it's been submitted and let's see what happens it ended so let's go and see the output if you look at here so first it says like include a group using uh, expanded using this private library that is JCL lib so include group okay so this has been uh, submitted successfully and when you go to JCL so now so you can see the ENR is replaced with QA dot input right similarly and if I want to create some data set for a prod just change this set environment and submit right so if you submit this so that you can have okay 
uh, let me come back here and just see so you can see that executed and similarly you can see prod dot input dot data has been successfully executed so that's the main importance of the input Guys, I hope uh, you are clear about this uh, purpose of include statement using in JCLs and this is also very much asked especially for the senior programmers and not only for seniors, I mean one to three years is also being asked but this is mostly asked for the 5 plus to 6 plus experienced folks, okay?